well, hello. Today we're we <laughs> we're gonna be doing a tier list of my favorite musicals. Or no, we're just gonna be doing ones that I've seen. So yeah, let's. I don't want anything from you guys. Okay, I'm here, and that's all that matters. No matter how I'm acting. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna do a tier list of musicals, of all the musicals I've seen, and hey, I may be silly, but what about it? Okay, again, after a brief intermission, we are back, but let's get in into this without further ado. I believe that we're recording, yes we are. Okay, so here we have the classic tier list, the classic tier list. Um... I want to personalize it a little. Changed how. Okay, how I think. Simple as that. I think if something can do that, then it's like amazing. Um. Can't stop. I want to say I can't get the songs out of my head the songs out of my head oh yeah this is like not just musicals sorry i said it was musicals it's also plays um we're, we'll translate plays over to that that's fine songs monologues like same things um anyways uh, yeah I, I love when that monologue is stuck in my head um okay anyways Okay, King of the Songs in my head. Overall pleasant experience. Overall good experience. Like, overall it was pleasant. Whether or not I liked it, and I had personal taste for it, not into question, but the experience was good. Um, let's see. Like, what just happened? <laughs> just happened. Um, I'm gonna put Jinkies on there. No, <laughs> Jinkies. I'm not gonna put Jinkies because I don't know how to spell Jinkies. <laughs> Anyways, um, um, I wasted, wasted my time. Okay. There we go. Without further ado, we have Alice by Heart. So this one is a rendition of Alice in Wonderland, but it's World War II, I think. Um, yeah, and it's like kids that are dreaming about being in Wonderland instead of this terrible place they're in. So kind of depressing. Um, but you know, love. I didn't love it though. <laughs> um, actually, did not love it. I would say it's either gonna be like I feel like it's gonna be like what just happened. Maybe even it wasted my time. But um, yeah, like I don't know. It just it was very confusing, and I don't know. Maybe I should have rewatched the original Alice Wonderland before watching this. But it was just like. I was like, wait, what's going on? I don't know, just, I didn't vibe with it overall. I was like, mm. And the songs were like, mm. Like, they're good. There's some good ones. But, I don't know. Also, I did watch this by a high school presentation. So, that also probably has a majority to do with how I felt about that. Um, then we have, how to succeed in business without really trying. This kind of does the opposite, but... I cannot get the songs out of my head. This one was, it was just like such a good one. And the fact that I knew the person that was the lead for it made it a little bit better. Again, this is a high school one. Um, but it was just like catchy and it was like bizarre and just very fun, very, ni very nice. And I like how they broke the fourth wall and I thought it was funny, even though it was like an older one. Yeah, it's just funny. It was good. It was great. And the songs were stuck in my head for a little bit. 
Next we have Wicked. I can't even, I know if I don't do this, I'll probably be like killed. But um, Wicked, Wicked. Wow, Um, I saw this, I was lucky to see this on Broadway and it was just, I need to do it again because I like, I still haven't processed it. Still haven't processed it and it's been like years, a year and something. Um, yeah, very, very nice. Very nice. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Like, I literally just, like, it's so good. I don't know what to tell you. Um, sorry for all these ads. I don't know. Okay, this one I saw a Rocky Horror, like, show where, like, the movie was playing. And then they were also doing, like, a live audience thing. Like, where they were, like, re, re um, recreating the movie. I guess what it is, yeah, recreating. So, that was pretty fun. And I just like to experience that. It's like, wow, this is... I'm so perks of being a wallflower right now. <laughs> um, this one... Over... Oh, no, no. Definitely, I can't get the songs in my head. The songs were literally in my head for, like, weeks after that. Because I also, like, watched the movie around that time as well. Like, rewatched it. And that, like, experience just made it amazing. Um, yeah. Exactly. The Larmy... The Laramie Project. Like, talk about cha like sobering experience. I saw this again at high school. It was a black box performance, so they were like, I don't know, just, like it, you, they were. It felt like they were like the characters were talking to you in a room, which they were, but it was just so like much more personal, much more hitting on the on your heart. Um yeah overall i need to see that again i will say um anyways so the next one something rotten oh. i would say um, i think i w would appreciate it more i really like it don't get me wrong like i i really like it Ugh. it's between these two i don't know like, the songs were really... They get stuck in my head, but... I don't know if it, like, changed how I think. I don't know. I wouldn't say it's at the top of here. Um, okay, are we gonna do it like this? No, we're not gonna do that. Okay, we're just gonna say it's in the same category. I'm not gonna do that. Like, rank them by that. No. If they're in the same category, they're as good as each other. I'm not gonna do any of that. Um, because I don't feel like it. I simply don't. So then we have... Yeah, it's very good. Very good. Then we have Xanadu. Like, what just happened? Literally, what just happened? They're just Greek gods roller skating? I, like, I don't understand. I... Yeah. I mean, the song, some of... Xanadu, the main song, that was stuck in my head for, like, a while. But overall, I don't know what was happening. Um, next. <laughs> mm, simply in here because it was a high school performance and I literally could not hear what they were saying at all. Um, yeah, and I also like supposed to read the book but didn't really read the book. So I was like, what is going on right now? Um, so yeah, very confusing experience. Sweet Charity. I really, the songs were stuck in my head for a while. No, yeah, definitely. I really like the songs and like the weird, I think it's just from like the age of it and like what time period it was in, but the songs were like so weird and the whole musical was like very like not modern musical, I guess. Not really. It's not weird. It's just not modern. Um, but it was very interesting. And, like, kept you on your toes. Really liked. Next we have The Drowsy Chaperone. Like, this is how you do a musical. This was a high school performance. And, wow. Wow, 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 wow. I did not think that I was going to like it this much, but it was so funny, so witty. And very similar to the next one that we're about to see. But yeah, just like very good experience. Very good. And like 
very warm feeling. Um, right there. Like, that is... I didn't realize that I could like musicals as much until I saw Spelling Bee. Like, that is literally my most favorite musical. It's just, it's amazing. It's funny. It's like, good modern, good modern story. But yeah, good modern story. Just very, very witty. Like, very good writing as well. A lot of these top ones, just good writing. That's all you need. Um, Peter and Starcatcher, a real good experience. I, apparently it's like a play that has songs. Or like something like that. It's not like technically a musical or something. Um, it took me, it took me a second to realize that this was about Peter Pan. Like I just thought it was a coincidence that there was like two Peters. Um, until like the dust and I was like, wait, that's, that's a weird coincidence. I think it was till I literally saw Kevin Hook that I was like, okay, this is, um, this is this. Like, this is the story of, like, this. Um, nothing really, like, left with me, I would say. Like, nothing stuck out that it was so good where I was like, wow, that moment was really good. Um, I just didn't really get that, I don't feel like. Um, <laughs> Head Over Heels was so raunchy. And so, like, what did I just watch? No way that just happened. Um, but really funny. And really, it had real, like, heart to it. So I like that. MJ. I w again, I was lucky enough to see this on Broadway. Um, yeah. Like, for, especially for the production of Broadway. The lighting, like the special effects like it was insane the stage everything was so impressive and like especially the story too like really was not did not think i was gonna be that into it but i was heavily heavily into it so yeah there was that sweeney todd um hmm. i would say overall good experience I don't think I just, I think I just don't judge with this, like, it's made, it's a modern, or, sorry, I haven't been using the word contemporary. For a lot of these modern ones, it's, like, contemporary, I guess, but this was made, like, relatively recently, I think, or, like, not, it's not old, I guess, but, um, it was really, I don't know, it just, like, it felt a lot older than it was, and it just really I don't know. Nothing that really left with me. I mean, besides, like, the main story. But, um... Eh. I'll say this. Because I was listening to those songs, like, a while after. But, um... I don't know my favorite musical. But it is good. Percy Jackson, The Lightning Thief. Um... A real good experience. Very much, like... Especially with the effects. Because this was at... This was a college one. Um, just very, like, meh. Especially with the story, it's like, why you're trying to do this on a stage? But, um, it was fun. It was a fun experience. I'll give them that. Um, you can't take it with you. That one was... I'd say that was right there. Um, very good play. It was very... I think it was broken into three acts, which was interesting. Very interesting. Um, yeah, it was just very, very long, very dialogue heavy, but it was like, I don't know, I really liked how it just carried you along with the story. I don't know, like, where I'm looking, I'm, like, looking everywhere that isn't the camera, but it just carries you along in the story, and it's just very, I don't know, very interesting. And, like, I don't know, it was just brought something different that you don't really see a lot. Um, that's it. But, um, thank you. <sighs> Again, it's always a struggle forcing myself to make these, but they're fun. They are fun, I will say. Anyways, peace. See you later.